Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, although the screen decided to go black there for a second. Upper right hand corner, we got Nomad starting as the green Protoss bottom left hand corner. We've got uh, Range starting as the brown Protoss. I don't have an overlay for this, so to spice things up a little bit, I'm leaving stream chat mid right if anybody shows up as the broadcast continues. So I want to do something a little bit special for this because this is K-League. If you're unfamiliar with K-League, you... Uh, so first of all, let's talk about ranged, actually. Before we dive into this, let's talk about the players themselves. So ranged has borderline, honestly. So he's definitely gone up to Gosu League, but honestly, he's been kind of almost borderline pro league lately from North America. Um, he has participated in some of the higher stuff with NAPL, but has dropped down. Basically, what K-League is, it's the league that is below the top of the top, the pro league of NAPL. So... Um, and this is now the NA, the sorry, the K League Finals. Whoever ends up winning this is actually going to end up getting a free trip to a North American land that is happening over the summer. So there is a considerable amount of money on the on the line. I'm not sure if it covers lodging, but I do believe it covers both the ticket and travel. Is my level of understanding. <clears throat> so, and this is on Polypoid to start. Nomad, I have heard a lot about but I have not been able to see a lot of his games thus far. So I'm excited to be able to get him in a match here. It looks like both players... So we got Gateway Simulator on one side and definitely more of a defensive gateway there from ranged. We have a forward gate, which suggests we're probably going to see that 10-12 uh, gate. Looks like we are seeing 10-12 gate. This is going to be cross positions. And let's see if range actually scouts cross position first. Oftentimes you want to scout like your worst case scenario. So I don't know that cross position would be the best direction to scout, but it looks like he is going to check middle first and then he's going to make his way bottom right. By the way, I also want to give the general announcement. If you want to support K League and APL, uh, the North American scene at large, go ahead and go to the NAPL Patreon, which is supported. Uh, Jay Yoon's been doing all of the the action around that and if you want to see the upper level the NAPL stuff going on then go ahead and check out Artosis who's doing casts of that um, usually I think it's like every other Sunday if not Sunday um, anyway range checking bottom right now making his way Nomad holding the ramp it looks like he is investing two initial zealots is he going to go so often some players like I've seen Boneth for sure tack on that Vespin geyser right off the bat. It looks like he's going to try to gauge what the situation is before dropping, potentially before dropping that gas. He's got the resources to go for the third, so he's hop, uh, holding it. But ranged, able to sneak in in the meantime, squeeze that probe through, is going to spot the lack of gas, which suggests there is the option to go up to the five zealots. The three zealots are now on the way, and it looks like it is going to be five zealot. In the meantime, Citadel of a Dune down from ranged. So he was planning on making his way to Dark Templar, so this could be a tough hold for him. So three Zelts versus two, plus a probe, making their way bottom left-hand corner. Actually, didn't catch that. So actually skipping Dragoons as well. Might need a shield battery. That's probably what this pylon is for, is to go ahead and get a shield battery down on the front to provide some support. The question is, is will it be in time? So shield battery now constructing. A Dragoon is constructing as well. At cross positions, that's going to make this a little bit more feasible. Two additional zealots making the way across. We still have the probe out on the front. Sometimes dropping a mana pylon behind this can be quite disruptive. The zealots engaging the probe get a little bit of bonus damage over the zealot line. This probe trying to counterattack over that edge. The shield battery's up. The zealots able to regain that shield. Now the dragoon is on the front. Now this isn't necessarily over because there, there's probably going to be an additional shot with the two additional zealots making the way down. It looks like the probe exiting deep territory and swinging back around. This probe can also do some shenanigans and drop stuff at the natural expansion, uh, things along those lines. Every once in a while, you'll see a counter shield battery. The Dragoon actually peeking down and sneaking back up a last second close and another shield battery recharge. One of these zealots, yeah, dies in the midst of that. Now the four zealots trying to push through. The probe's pulling off the line because it's important not just to hold this to make sure that additional probes don't die, but he also wants to try to hide that Templar tech first. And the, it's not even a first star Templar, it's a Dragoon that's getting forced here. And does Nomad, does he see the, he doesn't yet see the Citadel of a Dune and range playing brilliantly here, trying to draw him away from that tech. Now the edge of that Templar archives has been spotted, a dark Templar being built. Do we have, do we, I don't even know if there's enough gas behind this. Additional pylon behind that. The zealots have been cleaned up. Range is actually significantly down on workers. 
behind this. Forge getting dropped, a cancellation, so it's going to be cannons as far as a follow-up. So think disaster time now for range. So he lost a lot of workers. It looks like he paused probe production, has lost a decent amount of mining time. He might be able to get a natural expansion up a little bit earlier. Nomad also had a worker pocketed, potentially to go ahead and sneak behind this. A shield battery dropped to go ahead and try to keep these, so a counter shield battery now, to try to keep these Dragoons up on the low ground. Nomad ending up with the much more advantageous worker count. The Dragoon oh, might die here. But at the very least, with the Dark Templar in forward position, Nomad's gonna, it's gonna be a minute before Nomad's able to push his way down. He's gonna need that robotics up. He's gonna need that observatory up. And that is gonna give ranged an opportunity to catch up in the overall worker count as it goes more towards the uh, late mid game because or late early game, I should say. So Dragoon gonna survive. Cannon warped up. Is that, okay, the Dark Templar able to step back. It looks like he did in fact see that. But now we have the Dark Templar lurking on the low ground and Nomad pinned in. So it's 150 resources he had to dump. The shield battery equalizes the earlier shield battery cost, although not exactly because there were a lot of workers that were built instead of that shield battery. High Templar now being produced for range. He's still running off one gateway. He's got his own forge because he has to think about counter Dark Templar. So getting his own photon cannons warped in. And look at this, a hidden expansion top left immediately gets spot by ranged. And that's a cancel of 400 resources. That was a smart play on Nomad's part and a clutch play from ranged. Very wise on his part. And that's the thing, ranged game sense in these sort of scenarios is absolutely phenomenal to think, okay, what would you do to try to get back into this? Try to sneak a natural expansion and then he hunts it. He's, that's honestly one of his major strengths and why he plays, uh, I'm, as soon as he gets a little bit more mechanical uh, down the line and has a little, uh, a little bit more experience, honestly, against ranked players, I can see him doing very, very well in a year and a half uh, or so. Could honestly, I, I could definitely see him in pro league in not a, that long period of time here. It's kind of the nice thing about K-League, if you look at the players, it's kind of like the future of StarCraft. Like all the guys that'll probably be top level in not too long, if they get the opportunity. So Observer out, making their way down. Dark Templar pinned against the wall, takes a little bit of damage, but he's gonna be able to, well, he's gonna be able to escape with his life just barely. <clears throat> Nomad needs to be very, very careful running out because it's still two Dark Templar that are out in the field. So right now he's playing overly aggressive, moving towards that natural expansion. There's Three High Templar, Psystorm is going to finish, so this isn't going to be a kill threat, but could be a damage threat, but that's allowing the Dark Templar to sneak back underneath. Second Observer out. This one's going to maybe open things up. Never mind. It looks like it's going to get taken care of. Nomad able to defend now with that natural expansion, but Range wants to try to shut this natural expansion down because this is an opportunity to get back into it. Some for, A fourth cannon getting dropped. Looks like that's actually getting canceled. This between between that and the Psy Storm, it is going to be a hold. The gateway count restabilizing, range finally being upgraded, about halfway done, and a photon cannon just in case there was a drop on the main. The Zelts and Dragoons engaging the cannon line, eating an initial Psy Storm. It looks like they are going to be able to get two of the cannons, but it costs most of that army's life. Three Dragoons still there, not a winning scenario, particularly with additional Psy Storm in the bank. They need to be very careful, maybe spread out a little bit. Range being very patient. Nice spread on Nomad's part to make sure that his Dragoons aren't bunched up to eat a lot of Psystorm, trying to get what damage he can uh, he can down. Doing a great job. A Psystorm gonna hit one Dragoon, gonna be able to take two of them out. And that should end the pressure momentarily. Nomad behind now range in the overall worker count is actually close to even on supply, which means he's got a slightly larger army, but not by much, and that plus the cross distance, that will be equalized. Two additional gateways now getting dropped from ranged. And the Dark Templar making its way back, marching out with the Dragoons to go ahead and clean up that Zealot and the Dragoons. Might even be able to get the Observer here. If there looks like there's not a counter, never mind, there's no OBS that has been created in the opposite side here from range. So there is gonna be a general vision advantage for Nomad with that Observer. In fact, if he wants to just go ahead and move it in and park it over the observe, uh, over that base, that'll give him a good amount of information. He can also, if he parks another Observer out on the front, see should range be moving out. And he's doing the, the incredible play here of going ahead and grabbing that third very, very early, recognizing he has both of those advantages. Because it's cross position for range two, Got the Observer, he's got that third Nexus coming out. It looks like a Dark Templar making its way out. The Observer making its way across, going ahead and spotting everything. <clears throat> Seeing the overall gateway count. 
surging to six on the opposite side. The Dark Templar making up has seen the third base and starting to attack it now is going to reveal position. Nomad a little bit slow to respond and wisely only dedicating four Dragoons, not his entire attack force. So he doesn't want to give away too much here. So only revealing the four Dragoons rather than the entirety of his army. Forge on the opposite side, ranged actually marching out upon just seeing those four Dragoons and thinking maybe he got an option here. He also has a shuttle with two High Templars. So if he can force an engagement at that third base and then go for a counter Sidestorm drop at the natural, that would be huge. Unfortunately for Nomad, he's moving these Dark Templar out. So fortunately or unfortunately, so he's should be able to, he's gonna see the Dragoons and the shuttle making their way across. So both players gonna have that uh, have that spot. A Dark Templar unloaded, and this is gonna be disaster for range potentially, because he has no observers and, and Nomad spotted it. But this, able to sneak through, is Nomad gonna react in time? It looks like, no! That is going to be a massive hit to Nomad's workers. He does have three Nexus, fortunately, to go ahead and replenish that, so he's not out of this. He's also got these three Dark Templar. There are cannons on the front, but this will certainly shut down that third. Uh, pylon being built currently. Dark Templar upon Dark Templar right there. That actually able to detect it. Dark Templar with Dark Templar. Here at the 6 o'clock. The shuttle going to sneak back and try to find an opening. We have Dragoons plant there to absorb that shuttle, but still not a lot of mobile detection. We do have one cannon along the Nexus, but there's still a lot of exposed tech otherwise. The Dragoons now fielding back forward. The shuttle swing back around. The third base is up. Nomad still has some work to do to catch up. He is mining off three bases. Looks like a Zealot managed to empty, but not, not the Dark Templar, and that is unfortunate, because had a Dark Templar landed, that could have been brutal. Ranged, now it looks like has an Observer out in the field. Defensive pylon there, by the way, at the 9 o'clock location to spot additional drops making their way in. Nomad anticipating attack. He's down a significant amount of supply. Some nice macro by ranged behind this. Off the two bases. A worker going to go ahead and wander out and see two Archons leading on the front. That's plus one weapons, by the way, versus no upgrades for Nomad opposite side. A drop of High Templar moving in for range, recognizing he's got some of those units pinned in. And oh man, this is unfortunate for Nomad. Going to lose another huge swath as that attack moves in. So even though range looks like he might get repelled here, never mind. Another big Psy Storm on the high ground. And ranged is now going to love that Nomad walked down a little bit. So this is falling apart for Nomad a little bit. He got that third base up a lot, uh, much more rapidly, but range just out macroing him in the mid game and just getting much better exchanges. Shuttle still sitting there in the main. It looks like they morphed to an Archon and ranged has a rogue Archon now in Nomad's main and, main, and Nomad can't back out to defend it because if he does, he ends up losing his third. So workers trying to defend themselves. Range in absolute control of this match at this stage. And there's GG. Nomad made a run of it, but fun play both directions. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.